interesting. This is pretty much it. I think we're rolling. <laughs> Man, who get, are these guys? Uh, this is great. Wait, Chris are we Dorner, actually rolling? Yeah, wait, are we, are we we're actually? rolling. <laughs> nice. Really? This is giving me like yeah. a stroke. Yeah, this is... I feel like I'm in a Charlie Kaufman movie. <laughs> 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 this is... You've, you've gotten too lazy to cut the intro in, so you just play it on the podcast. <laughs> Everybody uh, on the Patreon when I did Soy Face twice, they thought it was the episode from last week. So now I'm, this is they're in memento. Now. They have no clue. <laughs> they have happening. no idea yeah. what's going on. Yep, we're simply a bunch of broken pieces of glass, and everyone's looking at themselves. Oh shit! On the last episode, I forgot. Oh, you know what, face. guys? I forgot to do Soy to do. Face on we this episode. All right, can we put turn out. this off? Because <laughs> my stop. head's okay, about so to explode. Right now you're watching Wait. the first. Are you trying episode, to give me an actually? aneurysm? No, but hold on, I got it. Yeah, Soy Face. All right, all right. This is how Bob Saget died. And then it's gonna jump. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Okay, do Soy Face. Quick. Then that means I'm gonna have to do soy face. Wait, are you doing soy Patreon. face? You gotta over? do two soy faces. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Whoa, new studio. Oh, new. Well, <laughs> can't believe we're about to record the main app right now. New era. <laughs> but and so new era. Watch us adjust to a. I'm getting pissed off getting cut off by myself. <laughs> Ben's so insane, he's going to copyright this episode from last week's episode. Yeah, we get copyrighted by ourselves. <laughs> All right. There, that there were, was some, there were some audio disruptions there. Um, go to the uh, clips channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, we got some bangers on there, and uh, we're going live. <laughs> <laughs> that thumbnail kicks out. I, I, I have not seen that until right now. <laughs> um. All right, we're in. We're in. Did you? That see- was like Inception. Did, is Christopher Nolan writing this episode? <laughs> That was yeah, amazing. I feel like I'm washed up on a beach right now. Watch out, Jace. You're uh, you're on your headphones. Oh, sorry. We got it. All right. <clears throat> uh, we got uh, we got majors. Jonathan Majors. We is, got him. Was taken down <laughs> yeah. shortly after our episode aired. Ladies and gentlemen, we got majors. We got majors. His uh, girlfriend broke his cup, <laughs> and he got pretty pissed. Yeah, just beat her to death with the handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was he doing? He was a, he was a punching and choking. One of those That's guys. what they say. A little punching, a little choking. Uh, but then today they said she recanted everything. But that just kind of means that she probably got a bunch of money or yeah, something. Yeah, Kevin Feig gave her a fucking suitcase. Yeah. That says shut the fuck up on it. Yeah, a suitcase yeah. full of Vaseline and body armor, hopefully. <laughs> this maniac. This woman beating maniac. Yeah. Who would have guessed the guy who carries a tiny mug to press events would beat a woman? <laughs> you think he's going to go on the... Uh, uh, Cumia Network to clear his name. Probably. Yeah. I see him. Yeah. Yeah. If, if anybody, if there's anybody Anthony Cumia would like, it's Jonathan Majors. <laughs> Jonathan yeah. Majors. J- J- Anthony Cumia is a big fan of Jonathan Majors because he he heard about the last black man in San Francisco, <laughs> <laughs> and he says that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I was telling Ben like Anthony is back on Twitter and his tweets are just I I can't I can't keep looking at right. them. Yeah. It's, it's like he's trying to get refired from Sirius. They're so <laughs> racist. <laughs> it makes you wonder how he ever even let Patrice in the studio. I know. Like I know. did he think Patrice had like frostbite? <laughs> like is he, yeah, is he going to pull out like a like an elephant gun at Patrice <laughs> or something? <laughs> Is is violently racist? Dude, he's tweets. writing like like acronyms with that that mean the n word. No, we're, and we're not being like cucks. He writes M F N, meaning like mother effing ends. Yeah, like he writes that out. And, like he retweets anti white watch. But 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 hold on. I mean, look. I guess you cannot be racist and maybe retweet that if you know they made a good point. Sure. But uh, but yet. Yeah, Sis is like the N-word for straight people. It's degrading, demeaning, and feminizing. Sister or sissy comes to mind. Straight people didn't come up with this nonsense. I'm offended by this tag, and we'll use the dreaded F-word for gay people if I'm addressed with sis. (laughs) Is he... Are people still... uh, Are people getting banned from Twitter under Elon? Uh, No, I think Elon lifted the gates, so people like Kumia can just go crazy. Nice. I do imagine Anthony just in that mansion in Long Island, like Daniel Plainview, mm-hmm. at the end of their will, like he's shooting a stuffed mo- moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yelling at a deaf kid. I'm finished. <laughs> and he's just he has he's he's bludgeoned Opie to death. <laughs> Look at this. He, this was amazing. He, he, he saw Opie at a restaurant. He filmed Opie yesterday. <laughs> Opie sees him too. Look at that. You can see Opie look up and see him. Yeah. Oh, he does. Look at that. And he goes, "Oh man, he's filming me." Yeah. Yeah. Opie's like, "Why do I dress like I have AIDS in 1993?" Opie's <laughs> telling the waiter to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Yeah, he's, he's saying, uh, Jonathan in, in uh, Buffalo, New York says, I should get the steak. Let's go to Whack Bag uh, for my order. Yeah. Anthony's amazing because he will just take a picture of a black person who's mm-hmm. like a mailman or something. Mm-hmm. And he'll just be like, well, there goes the neighborhood. Right. Caught this guy Caught this guy stuffing envelopes in my mailbox again. <laughs> it's like a damn menace. <laughs> Yeah, Kumi is crazy. Wait, yeah. did he get fired from Sirius for being racist? He got fired for taking a, a, a pictures of like a black prostitute in Times Square, and then she supposedly hit him, and then a bunch of other black dudes were like getting in, in, in into it and gonna beat him up, and then he went on Twitter and just called them like animals. And this yeah. sounds like the of plot of things. John Wick Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably will be. I, uh, I just saw John Wick Four. I saw like 30 minutes of it and then we walked out. But you walked out of oh, John you hated it. It was, uh, I don't know. We just all got too drunk before. Oh, sure. And then Joey paid for like IMAX tickets. So they were like $30. And then we show up and it's just like a normal theater. It was not an IMAX. And then we were so drunk that we like couldn't sit. Mm. Like Joey just kept getting up every 10 minutes and like walking out. And- Remember when I tried to go to the uh, Terminator 2 screening? We all at went. The Vista? Yeah. At the yeah, Vista, yeah. With you guys and Joey? And the entire movie, Joey would Joey's sitting behind me and would go and just <laughs> kick hit me in the in the back of the head with his foot. Right. Well, I was sitting. It was because we couldn't get seats together because there was like six of us. You guys were mm. in front, and I was with Joey yeah. behind you guys. And Joey would come, to, and he was hammered. And he would he would come to me. Sorry, he he go to me. He goes, "Hey, I'm gonna play a prank on your brother." I'm gonna play a prank on him, and then he would just like whap you he on the side just, of the head. He was just hitting glasses <laughs> over Ben's head. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then he chased you around the movie theater, right? They, they were literally running around in circles in a theater while the movie's playing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Joey saw T two, and he thought he was the Liquid Terminator. <laughs> And he looked at Ben, he's like, that's John Connor. He did some Walls of Jericho shit with me where he chased me around the theater like three or four times. Mm -hmm. And then he ran back in the theater and locked me out. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like, he went to the front, he's like, sir, that man, he's he's being insane, he's trying to break in. He's stealing, he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. He's convicted in front of a court. Mm -hmm. Great. A jury convicted him, sir, of molestation. (laughs) Right. Everybody in the theater is assuming that like you both are trying to do a shooting. Like you guys are fighting over who gets to shoot up the theater. Yeah. You guys meet outside and you're like, all right, we'll flip for it. Mm. Cocksucker. Yep. I remember that. Uh, yeah, but Joe, Joey, uh, Joey gave me like a concussion that night in the theater. He wouldn't stop hitting me. In it, the back it was of the, the head. most aggressive he's ever been. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a wild night. It was a midnight showing. That was, he I was hammered. Mm-hmm. I kind of stopped hanging out with Joey as I go, I got to hang out with Joey every three to four months or I, something bad's going to happen to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to have to start showing up to hang out with Joey and I'm I'm going to be dressed like the water boy. Mm-hmm. Like football helmet. Oh, I guess a football player, not mm-hmm. the water boy. That's my reference for football the, the is water the water boy. boy. Sure. That's how retarded I am. But you I, understand the world through Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're watching the Masters. You're like, man, this is just like Happy yeah. Gilmore. <laughs> you see firefighters. You're like, that's Chuck and Larry. Mm. Ben's at a wedding. He's like, when does the trans person sing Boy George? <laughs> I meet two twins. I'm like, oh, just like Jack and Joe. <laughs> mm. The only Adam Sandler movie I've seen. You on vacation in Hawaii going like, so where do they film 51st Dates? <laughs> that's got to be a, a thing people do. They they go to Hawaii and they go. Where's the place where you can make the waffles? Right. They're like, I want a house. I want to see Rob Schneider's coconut bra. Can I see that here? Speaking of people that do that, man. In two <laughs> two nights ago in this room, and by the way, I, I do want to point out, I have a what is that? I got a new soda. It just looks like black. It's a. Uh, I'm doing my part in the war. This is uh. It says n- number one in Russia. Oh, that's Russian. It's Russian Coca-Cola, I think. How'd you get it? Uh, I have a little mart down the street that I think is, I think they're Russian and mm. they hung a Ukrainian flag in the front, oh. but I don't think they, I don't think they, I think they're just trying to get business. Yeah. 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 They didn't seem like they. If you buy the Ukrainian version of that soda, it's just liquid money. <laughs> <laughs> it costs $900. Mm, yeah. It's a hundred billion dollar soda. <laughs> that looks mm. like something you would get off the back of a card in the old West. That looks like something that cures uh, toothaches. It somehow looks worse than Coke. <laughs> it really does. What is, why is it so dark? Dude, it looks like Guinness. 
It does. It looks like my Guinness. Nice. Maybe it's booze. <laughs> Was it taste like Coke? It kind of smells like alcohol, actually. It smells like fermented. Well, it's Russian. I'm sure it's, it was sitting in a basement for 40 years. Oh, that is awful. Really? What does it oh, taste that like? Is very bad. Can like I, licorice? Can I try it? Oh, man. Like a licorice y thing or what? Mm, it kind of tastes like uh, when you lick your mustache. Oh, my God. What that does it taste? taste like? That tastes like a beer. Really? Kind of. It tastes like woman beating? Is, it, little, it is there tastes, alcohol in this? It tastes like living in Russia. Oh, that smells awful. Oh, God. It's called Ocha. Oh, Ocha- God. It's like dip spit. <laughs> Ochakovsky? They are. God, fuck them. That sucks. That sucks ass. That's the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. And that's a treat there. That's considered a treat. Mm. This is the stuff in, it's it's spittoon cum. It's the stuff in the, it's like a, it's, it's this like, would be in a bedpan that like Lieutenant Dan shit in. Yeah. It, it literally tastes like I sucked on candy and then spit in a cup while I was sucking candy and you drank that. All right. No, that is truly vile. Well, that's my... I always wanted to be a soda reviewer on YouTube. I really did growing up. And uh, my dream is coming true, and I give this a one out of ten. That's the worst soda I've ever had, and that explains a lot of Russian behavior. That's why they fucking, for fun, they climb skyscrapers and shit. Yeah, yeah and they do a fucking a torture streams and shit. Yeah. What trash are, streamers. You know what? Trash streamers. What do they do? Trash streamers are like the big the big uh, trash streamers is homeless guy, and what people do is they uh, send people that are destitute on live streams uh, money to like uh, cut their fingers off and to eat metal and uh, coins and things like that. So the more money people go, I'll give you you know uh, here I like a it says someone sent you ten thousand dollars you have to cut your hand off and the homeless guy goes goes mm, he just shrugs and just starts. He just needs the money. Right. And okay. what's he going to do with his hand? Yeah. And he just cuts it off. This may explain why they're losing ground in the war. Because <laughs> all the soldiers have chopped their hands off mm-hmm. for money. Well, the homeless guys, at least. Yeah. There was one big guy who, uh, he was a huge trash streamer, and someone sent him a bunch of money to leave his girlfriend out on the balcony, which in Russia, it... it oh, I've heard of this. Yeah. It gets to, like, negative, you know... 50 degrees there it gets insane but in russia that's like a sunday night yeah it's that summer just leave her out Mm -hmm. yeah and he he, right right he's like she's already yeah already locked her outside the women she's not allowed inside the women have fur so we're fine these are russian women (laughs) oh she's an outside girlfriend yeah Mm -hmm. she's not an inside she's a wolf wolf. he had to he put her outside for like four minutes and uh she died Mm -hmm. and then the cops just came and arrested him on live stream it was that was a huge trash right. streaming was a huge thing. Especially and then they, during COVID. they told the cops to give him five hundred dollars if you shoot that guy in the eyes right now. <laughs> no, then the cop just sits down. <laughs> right, cop sits down. He goes, "All right, welcome back to stream. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants me butt fuck this man?" Man, Russians are really just miserable. Well, this sucks ass, and it kind of tastes like uh, you know that stuff that uh, Tom Hanks really likes that people put on bread. And it's from England. Vegemite? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a Vegemite, Vegemite. type mm-hmm. of vibe that the Aussies like. Yeah. Um, Australians. Yeah. You do Woo! think like if if, if if Russians could get like a Fanta where they'd just be like, God, my life sucks. I know. But they would finally realize it. Right. If they had a Pepsi. Yeah. We They had McDonald's until they fucking did this thing. And then we had to take it all their, all their fun away. Will and Don posted in their final uh, Europe recap. Will was in a convenience store and he zoomed in on a, a orange Fanta. <laughs> and he said, "That that is." He goes, "I've been drinking that all trip." <laughs> and he, I think he, I think he thinks he thinks it's got it's got uh, fruit in it. <laughs> yeah, because it says it works. He thinks right. he's being healthy. Yeah, yeah, he thinks it's got pulp, but that's just his own gums. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I think he thinks Fanta is a European uh, beverage. I don't. Oh. I don't think he's aware they have Fanta here. Right. Yeah. That's he, probably it. He was like. He was like. This. You know, this is. I've been drinking this whole trip. Like yeah. it was a. Yeah. Like, like he, a, he's like. Well, when in Rome. Right. <laughs> he's drinking Fanta. He probably vapes for like the vitamins. He thinks there's vitamins like in the watermelon vape or. <laughs> It'll yeah. say like aloe. He's like, oh, uh, good. It coats the lungs. Oh man. Yeah. He's probably walking around England just being like, they have great teeth here. Best teeth I've seen <laughs> in my life. He, but he probably <clears throat> back to the Hawaii thing. Sure. He probably if they, Will and Don ever go to Hawaii, they're going to do that. 
They're going to ask for the waffles. Oh, shit. Yeah, make sure to play oh, that. <laughs> the, the OP, OP video. <laughs> the deranged OP. footage. Of Anthony Cumia <laughs> filming OP right. eat at a steakhouse. That can't be legal to do that. No, it's legal. First and, Amendment. And you also said, you're like, that's a sign. Just like, go shake his I hand. I know. I saw it. I go, just guys, stop. Just stop. Look at him looking straight He's at looking him. At the He's looking right, right at Anthony. Right down the barrel. Yeah. You know, he's, a, he's like, can I get a cake to step on? That's what he orders. <laughs> we'll say Anthony trashing him, though, is hilarious. I love it. It's very, him and Gavin yeah. shitting on Opie is very funny. It's very funny. Right. And then and then Opie's response <laughs> filmed in a sewer somewhere in New York. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Opie's like Yeah, he's podcast. having Donatello hold the camera. Yeah. <laughs> His podcast setup is like a, a Batman villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He just lives in a gutter somewhere. Mm-hmm. He does it like on an island, it seems like. Mm-hmm. On his phone, and his co-host is like a volleyball, <laughs> or it's like Sherrod Small, but the volleyball might be better. <laughs> yeah, Sherrod and the volleyball have yeah. beef. I think all of his hosts that he, he like, besides Sherrod, I think everyone else that he went on to do his show with, the Opie Show or Opie Radio, they were all like died. <laughs> is that true? Just one by one, they were just dropping like flies. Really? Yeah. 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 Just from Opie. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that uh, in the Chama movie, The Happening. They always all start killing themselves <laughs> mm. one by one. A, you know, you take too many callers. Put their head inside a lawnmower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, so is that all of his movies now? Because we went to see the Knock at the Cabin, or what was it called? Knocking the cat, knocking at the cabin. Yeah, knocking at the cabin. What was it called? It was called the Knock at the Cabin. The Knock at the Cabin. A Knock at the Cabin. Who, who's movie? a Knock at the Cabin? M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan oh. came out with a new movie called A Knock at the Cabin. Was that really him? Mm-hmm. I thought people liked that. Oh, that was Cabin in the Woods. Enough of these cabins. <laughs> Enough of the in the. Yeah. No more. I'm more of a heaven is for real guy. <laughs> Do you know I have a post? I have a heaven is for real poster in that closet. <laughs> yeah. Would you be Would you be shocked if I unveiled no, it right absolutely now? absolutely not. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you were referencing that. Ben just broke, when they moved, Ben broke that out of storage. Is it heaven is for real? I or? a public storage unit just with this poster. Oh, yeah. my God. The best movie ever made. Colton Burpo, Colton Burpo, baby. The trailer for this movie makes me laugh harder than anything on earth because it's about it's about a kid that like dies mm-hmm. and then apparently goes to heaven and then comes back and oh, I have the book. and lives. <laughs> I have the book. And then he tells his parents like I I saw heaven. Heaven is real. And they kind of don't believe him. But Greg, there's a scene in the trailer Greg where Kinnear's Greg Kinnear's like pissed off in in the kitchen with his wife, and he's like, "Honey, he said it was real." <laughs> Talking about heaven. In that specific Greg Kinnear way. (laughs) Yeah. Honey, we gotta believe him. He's five and he almost died. It's like literally a kid with like brain damage. Yes, the kid had DMT released into his brain Mm. and he thinks heaven's real. Right. Well, I think also in the story where they like, they they shaped his, he's like, I was in the sky with clouds and they go, and you said there was no Jews there, right? (laughs) Colton Burpo. And he's like, that's right. There's no no juice there when I went. He, it's a paradise. <laughs> How the fuck do I get to this monitor? And his name is fucking... Colton Burpo. Mm-hmm. Come on, what? What? Oh, it's yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, that's a that's a kid at a at a at like a southern barbecue who's like you know choking on a rib. Yeah, Colton Burpo. Burpo. That's uh, Greg Kinnear loves picking weird movies. He's in another movie about the guy that invented windshield wipers. It's like two hours of a guy in court being like, "No, they go like this." <laughs> <laughs> he's also in that movie about people writing letters to God. That's similar. Is thing. he? A, he must be. He's a big Christian. He right? must be a closet think, Christian. I don't think he is. I think he just wasn't really getting work at that he's, at that point. I bet you those sets are fun. Everyone's nice. Sure, you know, mm-hmm. God fearing yeah. people. You can fuck the kids. Sundays are <laughs> off. Yeah, there was this. Ugh, fuck, I wish I could find this other book. There was another book like Heaven Is for Real where the kid came out later because it was a bestseller. The kid came out and said it was all bullshit and he made it up. I think that's oh. Heaven Is for Real. No, not because Colton Burpo. I uh, I used to follow him on Twitter. I don't know if he's still active <laughs> on social media. <laughs> he be, he. Be- <laughs> A lot of people don't know this. Colton Burpo became Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> oh, man, that makes sense. He, he, he rebranded. That makes sense. Um, trying to find the one uh, uh, book besides Heaven is for Real made up. Because the kid came out and he goes, yeah, I feel bad about it. And he made a bunch of money. The boy who didn't go to heaven. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't. I can't remember. I don't even know what I would type in to figure out what that is. But uh, Heaven is for Real was. It was this shit where he goes. They go. Colton said, uh, "Daddy, uh, why does Gramp? Why does Grandpa have a tattoo right here?" And he goes, "Colton, you didn't. Ev- you didn't ever meet Grandpa. How would you know he has a tattoo?" And he goes, "Well, when I went to the place in the clouds, he had a tattoo right. He, he had a tattoo on his arm, and he said he was your daddy." And he goes, uh-huh. "Honey, how could he?" How could he have? He never met my my grandpa. When, right. But it's clearly like he's just putting he's putting shit out there. Yeah, the he's, tattoo. Just, he's, he's implanting shit in him. It was a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> he had a. He, it said one four eight eight. He had it across his back. <laughs> Honey, how was he supposed to know Grandpa was racist? Honey, how does he know about racism? <laughs> <laughs> He's five, and we teach him that every day. Oh, I found it. Fuck yes, I found it. Boy says he didn't go to heaven. It's on NPR. Pu- publisher <laughs> says it will pull book. Oh, oh no, and it's kid. a fucked Is that up him? kid. No. I didn't mean fucked up. You know what I mean. Yeah, he's fucked up. <laughs> you don't mean he's fucked up. It's just his body is fucked. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not fucked up. He's just incredibly botched. Right. <laughs> his life is just much worse than all of And he's a little liar. Well, I no, no, no. I want to say it's kind of awesome that he he came out and said, "Yeah, it was all bullshit. I didn't see anything." And then that's kind of awesome. his defense in court should just be like, "They're adults." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was five. I was five, and they're adults. And I w- and I was underneath an ice sheet in a river for twelve minutes. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna think I saw heaven. My brain doesn't work anymore. Yeah, what do you want out of me? Mm-hmm. Of course, I made this shit up. Yeah, I got a hole in my neck, and I was five. <laughs> I'm going to make some stuff up. It's amazing. This kid's name is literally Alex Malarkey. Malarkey. The boy who came back from heaven by Alex Malarkey. It's like Joe Biden's nephew. (laughs) It's my nephew, Marky. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, They promoted it as a supernatural encounter that will give you new insights on heaven, angels, and hearing the voice of God. I want to see his statement, though. Oh, he goes, oh, oh, my God, this is amazing. He said, I did not die. I did not go to heaven. I said I went to heaven because I thought it would get me attention. When I made the claims that I did, I had never read the Bible. People have profited from lies and continue to. They should read the Bible, which is enough. The Bible is the only source of truth. Anything written by man cannot be infallible. Mm. Hmm. He concluded, those who market these materials must be called to repent and hold the Bible as enough. Well, so what, did they kill the kid? I mean, is he, is he like giving himself up? I think he should go to prison. For sacrifice? Yeah, put him away. <laughs> yeah, for this life. Fucking, this little white mm-hmm. Jesse, Jesse Smollett. <laughs> this little lying piece of shit. Right. He's like, I saw God outside of Subway. <laughs> yeah. I saw two gods and they said, this is heaven country. <laughs> I was in the south side of Chicago <laughs> and I saw heaven. <laughs> and they put a halo around my neck. But this kid, it would be funny if they like put him in federal prison. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they prosecute him harder than they've ever prosecuted mm. a civilian. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't tolerate liars. They send him the to, U.S. judicial system. They send him to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they strip him of his citizenship so they never have to send him to trial yeah. and put him in Guantanamo Bay. Sentence him to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They keep flipping the switch on the chair and they go, "Is it real yet? Is it malarkey?" <laughs> We're turning you into a hush puppy, <laughs> Malarkey. <laughs> yeah, your your name's John Coffee, yeah. Malarkey. <laughs> They're just doing the green mile <laughs> with the kid. Uh, Colton Burpo, so, Twitter. So Colton stayed strong though with heaven. Oh, yeah. I've been keeping up with him for a while. Colton fully believes in heaven. He saw it. It's uh, true. Oh yeah. yeah why doing, is his? He's doing stand up now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Wait, 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 why is his his uh, header picture like? Like bricks of cocaine. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That's the white room they put him in now. Yeah, this is. He works for the CIA. He smuggles <laughs> drugs in. Uh, oh, that. Wait, hold on. This one's a. <laughs> this one's a parody. Oh, in recovery. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh. I'm in recovery. <laughs> wait, that might. I that might Twitter, be him, dude. though. I love Twitter, dude. It says parody. It says parody, Jace. I don't know. It could be him. He, still, he could be a tricky, tricky man. Uh, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. I gotta find it though. He used oh, to, is he private? I used to follow the boy him. who lived. See, heaven is for real. Movie on demand now. That's Bolton Kerpo. No way, that's him. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 
God killed the dinosaurs for doing premarital. Okay. Yeah, yeah this a, is. That's I mean, it could this, be is a, this is a Phil Werrell type <laughs> account. Uh, but okay, what is great though is he the he sings now and he's not bad. I want to pull him up. He sings worship music now. Mm hmm. It's it's really not. Are you into worship music at all, Devin? <laughs> you ever you ever turn it on and just here we go? No, I don't listen to any religious music that's not done by black people. <laughs> Truly, it's it would the be only funny if Colton Burpo's in a black like Kanye church. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just singing ultra light beam. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye's holding them up to the sky. <laughs> Kanye's like, we're gonna bring Colton out to say something about the Jews real quick. <laughs> Colton has uh, Chance the Rapper's whole verse. <laughs> this is my panel, about the yes, speak. I shall heaven, I shall heaven, heaven is for real. <laughs> I want to be in a Kit Kat commission. <laughs> what if I made the gayest album about getting married? I hate the Jews. <laughs> I hate the Jews. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, I really wanted to have Hate the Jews on the album, <laughs> but Spotify wouldn't. Uh... They did the sample. <laughs> we don't have the sampling rights for my song, Jews. <laughs> Just, just sampling like Hitler's speech. <laughs> What's the three on his hat mean? <clears throat> What's the three on That's his hat? That's the amount mean? of people who died in the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> it has something to do with his coloring book thing. I don't know. That's uh, bullshit. The number of good albums he made. <laughs> <laughs> on to uh, to be frank, I think Colton kind of killed this and. I think he was selling Everyone, out some shows. I would like for you to welcome Yeah, me Colton's to opening for Burt Kreischer. <laughs> <laughs> He's opening for the machine. Yeah. Ladies Dude. and gentlemen, uh, how does he start the machine joke? Ladies and gentlemen, when I was uh when I was 13, when I was 21. I don't know, when I was 21, I, I, I did was a study abroad in the Russia. Right, I got involved with the Russian mafia. Right. He, and then people with arrows through their head go, Ooh! <laughs> It's a it's like a crowd it's a crowd full of people in, in like cattle guards yeah. thrashing about going Nyeh! people that have been h- injured in hunting accidents mm-hmm. yeah. then yeah, yeah. made their way to the show. He took his shirt off again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the movie. <laughs> Here's the machine. Tell the story again. My favorite things are things I already know. Because it's hard for me to know new things, so just repeat the thing I know already. <laughs> yeah, it is like the stand-up in Idiocracy. Just like a it should be a, just a guy getting whacked in the nuts, and then going like, "Hi, fucking retard! Guy's fucking nuts whacked." <laughs> it's knocking fights. <laughs> Man, you know Colton has to be getting the just the worst pussy of all time. Off of this shit? Is he allowed to? I bet he is. I think there's a lot of sucking and fucking yeah. that goes on in these suits. I mean, when, when, you're, when you're, you guys are going to see like what he's capable of. I think people stay fully religious like this so the, the sex feels better. Yeah, because it's dirty. It's dirtier, it's yeah. It's freaky. And by the way... I, I forgot to preface this. This isn't like some of the shit from it's. It's like from the studio, you know, and that's a mu- like. This isn't auto tuned shit. No, this, like, is, this he's is not raw. Doing, no, he's not doing T pain right now. No, like you know those videos where Whitney Houston is like, you know, is hitting the notes and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. the national anthem. Yeah, this is th- this is raw, unfiltered. Cold. Um, imagine, yeah, if he had the enterprise Adele has. Millions of dollars in the studio, the best producers on the planet, mm-hmm. millions of dollars worth of equipment in the studio. Imagine what Colton could really do. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. If he had Rick Rubin and all these people on right. his side. Yeah. <laughs> He's Rick, yeah. 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 Rick yeah. Rubin just being like, um, <laughs> what do you, when you lie about heaven, <laughs> what is the antithesis of what you feel? Can we try to work on the antithesis? Everybody's like, why are you here? <laughs> What do you contribute to this at mm. all? And he goes, I just, I cross my legs, man. I don't know. How about we just take another album, we use all their beats? 
Rick Rubin writes music by saying you should sing a song someone wrote. Yeah, mm-hmm. because yeah. I'm a I'm a music I'm a musician. Rick Rubin's just like, well, my career's mostly based around Jay Z thinking I'm Yoda, so that's what I do. <laughs> Why don't you sing about heaven over the Californication beat? <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure if that guy shaved, I think he's very talented and amazing, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure if that guy shaved his head, like shaved his crazy hair off and his beard, I don't, I don't, I think he'd be out of work in like yeah. a week. Oh, I want to hire him as a CPA. No, yeah, he'd look like Mike Bushetti if he shaved. <laughs> <laughs> he'd look like some loser that calls in, used to call in mm-hmm. to Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, if you told him he's not allowed to be barefoot anymore and he just has to wear like jeans. Yeah, he looked like and a T-shirt. You think he's Kyle Gass from Tenacious D? <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> okay, like, why is the ugliest man at a Jaguars game here? Look at that white Stevie Wonder behind him. <laughs> he could change. He could tell you stories that will that would change your life. Devin, if I you love just listen. Any organization that lets a kid run everything. <laughs> a yeah. room full of adults, hundreds of adults well, <clears throat> standing for a child. You know back in the day when like a king died of he had nine types of syphilis. Yeah. And he died because he had sex with forty thousand people. And it was like the fourteen hundreds, and then his kid was like seven and he <clears throat> this became is king and he just started killing Colton people. Colton Burpo is the last emperor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like China. Yeah. He's in Dunkin. <laughs> Heaven is for real. I liked it. Hey, Marty, <laughs> heaven is for real. I fucking liked it. <laughs> He's got a little... I like his swag, too. He's got the little uh, sports sports coat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes he'll sway back and forth. Carmine. Carmine's like, that's right, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the sacred and the propane. <laughs> Very good. He really, really loves you. He really, really loves you. Yeah. He really, really loved you. He really, really loved you. That's why your kid has a tumor. (laughs) That's why your family is a cycle of abuse. Can't afford medicine. Can't afford the mortgage. (laughs) Ma'am. This, this That's could... why the best person you ever knew got cancer. <laughs> That's why all only the good die young. <laughs> all the best people you know are dead. <laughs> it's a curse to be awesome. <laughs> uh, this a benefit concert in East Palestine, Ohio, right here though, mm-hmm. right in, at, in front of the river where all the it's just dead fish. There's yeah, no water they all in it anymore. Rise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just he's on stage with Trump and Trump's just whipping out. He's shooting whoppers out of a T-shirt cannon yeah. at, at the East Palestine, Ohio <laughs> yeah. people. Trump's whipping guns into the crowd. <laughs> Trump's got a, a T-shirt. Really, really loves yeah. you. Trump's got a gun and a T-shirt cannon firing at people. Imagine that. And just this. <laughs> no. Right. Just the people in East Palestine, they, they have nubs. Mm-hmm. Like they have bones sticking out yeah. of their flesh. They look, <laughs> they look like the guy from Robocop who's melting and gets hit by the car. And he's like, he really, really loves you. He loves me. They try to do the thing where they raise their arm, but the uh, arm sna- f- falls, like folds off. Mm. Like a... Yeah, like like uh, something that's been in the slow cooker for a while. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Old pork <laughs> arms. <laughs> he let me. Jaw falls off. God, I, I'm I'm his church, dude. Uh, here here's Colton Burple describing. Cause I hell yeah, dude. It's been a while since I read the book. Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him at his prime, and four years old. By ex- the way, explain it. Well, everybody asks. They go, "Is the book really better than the movie?" And it is. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, walking walking out of heaven is real. It's like I mean, it just doesn't you know the narrative of the book. Yeah, it's it's much like white noise. <laughs> I mean, it's like trying to adapt Confederacy of Dunces. How do you do it? Yeah, yeah. Who's Natalie Tizzle? About heaven, okay? Okay. Was it colorful or black and white? It was colorful. And they're like Colton. Colton. Easy. <laughs> Colton. It was white. Colton, we talked about this. What color? Blue, the blue skies, uh-huh. the green grass, and that's it, right? That's Those are the colors, Colton. What color were your shoes, Colton? 
What kind of shoes did you have what on? What kind of shoes did you have on, Colton? I was I was wearing Air Force. No, you were not. No, you were. You were, were penny loafers. You were not wearing black Air Force Ones. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Patrick Beverly? Man, I thought I th- like I try to go into this stuff with an open mind. But looking at this interview, it kind of seems like he's lying about the whole thing. I'm starting to get that feeling. They're in an all-white room, like they're in heaven right now. Right. Like, this is heaven. You get interviewed by the, whatever this Liz Cum Guzzler, let me, let whatever her name her. was. No, she's got cum on her lips. Liz Tisley. <laughs> you tell me what you remember about... Natalie Tizzle. Yeah. She looks like a Republican senator murders her for money. There's something about Christians. They just always upload in 360p. What is that? 240p, 360. That's what they. That's where, where they exist. Well, that's they, their sweet spot. They think technology was created by the Jews. Okay. okay. Was it colorful? They don't want to use it too much. It was colorful. What kinds of colors? Well, it's all the colors we have here on Earth, and then some more. Oh, what are the other ones, Colton? Get into it, you little four-year-old fucking shyster. <laughs> You little fucking snake oil salesman. You little mini fucking crazy man. He looks scared. He looks very. He looks like he's in a like a Stockholm syndrome kind of relationship with this crazy dad. Yeah, Todd, which is Todd Burpo, by the way. <laughs> Todd Burpo. His name is Todd. It's he the goes, Burpos. Yeah. He goes. We're not lying. God damn it. We're the Burpos. <laughs> We're the Burpos. <laughs> the Burpos. God damn it. <laughs> my name is my Burpo. Name is my Bond. <laughs> my name is Burpo. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Burpo. Right. They probably okay. changed it from whether, whatever Nazi name they had before their grandparents moved to America. Wow. Are there many people in heaven? Um, yes, there are a lot of people. Does heaven look like earth? Um, it does have a little bit of the same texture, except it's a place where there is no sin. So grass. So what'd you do there, Colton? He goes, I raped. (laughs) I raped everyone. God gives you automatons that can't feel anything. There's no sin. There's no whistles. There's no cops. (laughs) (laughs) It's what Antifa wants to turn this country into. It's interesting. Yeah, it is kind of like a block party thing. Hmm? It's like a lawless thing. It's a uh, what was that thing in Seattle? Chaz. Yeah, Chaz. Chaz, yeah, Chaz, yeah, yeah. Heaven's, Heaven's run by like a failing rapper <laughs> who immediately shoots four kids. <laughs> everyone in heaven is a sovereign citizen. In heaven, everyone has GoFundMe's. In heaven, you don't need a green card. You get sent straight to hell. I and mountains. How about that? Things like that, just like it looks on. By the way, what kid knows the word texture? What four-year-old knows texture? Oh yeah, he's he's been given. He's been coached. Yeah, yeah. He's better at speaking than Kamala Harris, though. (laughs) Yeah, which is insane. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you try to put Kamala Harris, and she'd be like, "Well, heaven is heaven, and I'm the vice president, and I died, and now I'm not dead, so it's heaven, and I'm a clone of a lady that died seven years ago." DARPA has a lot of this technology that mm-hmm. people don't know about. Yeah, DARPA has my brain in a cage, and now I'm doing this interview about heaven because I die. So my brain has a big padlock on it. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm a hologram? What was that? <laughs> Say that to this ear, I'm, I'm a hologram. So, I'm sorry. What was that? I can't hear you, I'm a hologram. Um, we, I am an extension of an extension, okay? <laughs> so when you talk about heaven, it's an it's heaven extension, okay? I'm, All right. Yeah. I'm, Sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say, sorry, I can't hear you. There's a mind-controlling slug in my ear. <laughs> there's a big slug that controls my brain there's in a, my ear. <laughs> yeah, there's worms in my head. <laughs> say that one more time. Worms in my head. Uh, those videos where people were saying Biden looks like he was green screened. And remember when the during the pandemic, he was like walking and it looked weird like he's walking on a treadmill, but behind him sure. mm-hmm. is like a helicopter landing and stuff. And then people go, oh, no, it's not weird. If you look at it from all these... I'm pretty sure that was all green screen, and then we just had to pretend it wasn't. Probably. Like, There's always footage of these guys coming out of the plane, and it just doesn't look like them. And he always, but Biden always looks different every six months if you look at photos of him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting tricked like I, a boomer by I, stuff, but I don't I know. Do I see weird footage. I feel like time. I think he's dead. I think he's a, I don't think he's alive. There, yeah. I do think they I agree with you. They save like this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
mean, I, yeah, I agree, man. <laughs> you seen him talk? I, I don't. What else? Yeah. Is, what don't, else could it be? Don't have a lot of stake in this game, so <laughs> don't quite care. Pretty sure the president's dead. Yeah, don't care if he dies. Don't care if Trump dies. <laughs> don't care if the White House was. Never mind. <laughs> it's YouTube app. God damn it. YouTube. Um, no, I do think there was like a period, like a year before the election, where they're like, we're just going to lock Biden in a room mm-hmm. for like nine months. And then they just shot him through like whatever like soldier super serum, yeah, like the yeah. Nazis used. Yeah, he 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 sleeps in like those wax vats that are in like that movie Wanted, where like he's oh yeah, you. yeah 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 he's got to have something like that set up. Yeah, for yeah. Him. Mm-hmm. he's like a precog for Minority Report. Mm-hmm. And I think they like jack him up full of like cocaine before speeches and stuff because every once in a while when he he does like a State of the Union like every nine months. Uh, people will be like, oh, he's speaking pretty well, but he always seems jacked. Right, he's like grabbing at his nose. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh-huh. like, we should we should open a bar. We should do that. <laughs> He's like, we should go to Vegas right now. We, we could go to Vegas. We could be in Vegas four hours mm. from now. Okay. Back to Colton. I, I do I kind of feel bad I'm kind of feeling bad for him here. I don't know about you guys. You Devin's very Devin hates Devin's like an atheist or something. No. I did mushrooms and something happened. <laughs> Saw something. Yeah. Devin Devin's owned, never read the Nag Hammadi. Right. Okay, he's never read any of the Gnostic. Devin Gospels. owns a bunch of Richard Dawkins T-shirts, so <laughs> we know where he stands. Devin has a flying spaghetti monster tattoo. <laughs> you know, someone on the Discord, by the way, has a uh, coexist tattoo. Man, that sucks. Really? That they got when they were a teen, like a bumper sticker. Yeah, tattoo? and they're like, "This is the most embarrassing." Where it's the coexist, where like the C is yeah. the communist, the, right. and then. Shows all the right, different right. religions, and it's like it's like getting keep Tahoe blue tattooed on your back. Yeah, get a get a honk if you're horny tattoo. <laughs> right, save the whales like an NPR <laughs> tattoo. KPFK. Oh, yeah, just put a license plate on your own back at that point. Big <laughs> one. I know you get this question a lot. Are there animals in heaven? Did you see animals? Oh, what a bullshit yeah, question. You don't want to know. Animals? <laughs> well, I, you don't want to know what I'm about to say, little Natalie Tizzy. <laughs> he turns to his dad. He goes, Dad, may I? May I? <laughs> I'm a, I could unleash some unknowable horrors that would fry your brain. Like, uh, like a Lovecraftian uh, short story. There are animals in heaven, but Anthony Camille is up there, too, with a Behringer rifle. In heaven, there's a big sign that says, no jerseys, <laughs> no sacky <second> pants, <laughs> no flat bills. <laughs> All, by the way, there's so many restaurants in LA that say that on the front when you walk in. Really? Oh, you guys haven't seen, like, if you walk into, like, like the South Beverly Grill, or, I don't know, I'm trying to put them on the spot. Say no, in Beverly no, Hills. No flat brims. It says, like, no jerseys, no, it's it's saying, hey, if, if you dress like a black person, you're not allowed. That's because they had a bad experience with T.I. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I... <laughs> oh, at that yeah, restaurant yeah. specifically? South Beverly Grill is Houston's, mm-hmm. and Houston's, like, uh, was get would uh, occasionally gets in trouble for being racist because, like, a rapper comes in with his crew. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Like, they were like, they have rules, sure. and they then claim it's racist. They should just have a sign that says Dennis Rodman not welcome <laughs> like they should just name the specific people they're trying to talk about yeah they should make a sign that says no scaring the customers <laughs> yeah because <laughs> the customers are the racist ones yeah sure, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah, not Houston's which is a go. great great place I could see the look on Devin's face I had to uh, throw him a little bone in heaven did you see animals <laughs> yeah I saw animals and one of the animals that yeah. I enjoyed playing with was the lions <laughs> And they were okay. like, he's like, uh, there Wait, are, <laughs> sorry. So, no, I'm sorry. He's like, there are animals. They do have gay people there. <laughs> they keep them in cages <laughs> like animals. Go, go back a second, Ben. I hate this lady. I mean, what a retarded question to ask. If you actually met someone that went to heaven, why would you well, ask she, them if there's she, animals? And she goes, Colton, I know you get this question all the time, but are there animals in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know this is the first question everyone asks right. about heaven. She's just a freak. She's like, I fuck animals. <laughs> go, go play it one more time, because she says something weird that I'm not sure I heard right. Okay. Things like that, just like it looks on Earth. Yep. I know this is a big one. I know you get this question a lot. Are there animals in heaven? Did you see animals? Yeah, I saw animals, and one of the animals that I enjoyed playing with was the lions. And they were tame? 
Oh, tame. They didn't mm. hurt. What did you think? They thought you said, and you came. And they were fine. Colton, you <laughs> came in the lion. You came in the lion, right, Colton? Colton, can you fuck the animals in heaven? I know you get this question a lot. <laughs> can you fuck them? Are you familiar with uh, Mr. Balloon Hands? <laughs> Have you seen that video, Colton? Can I do that in heaven? <laughs> can I get fucked to death by a horse, Colton? Look at his catatonic parents. <laughs> Just sitting there, fucking they virgins. Haven't spoken up once. Yeah, how they even make Colton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how do you? How, right. When you know did the, they have sex? The wife like gathered up a wet dream cum and just shoved it in her pussy. <laughs> they look like they did some raising Arizona shit, and they just stole a baby from uh, like an orphanage or something. Colton's pure pre cum. <laughs> He's just it's pre-cum. a pre cum baby. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, a hand job baby. Yeah, he's old cum. She like found a, a used sock and shoved it in her pussy. Colton is eight day old cum. <laughs> he's four years old. Like, we're brutalizing him. <laughs> they had to a- they he, asked for he, project the he, fuck. He, yeah. he asked for this. He man. did. Yeah. yeah. Fucking liar. Fucking retard. <laughs> it's in heaven. <laughs> yes. Everyone was. Was there bad weather? No. <laughs> it was always sunny. Mm-hmm. Was there night and day? Um, that's another part that sort of faded, but I'm not really sure. I think it's just day. Was mm. there music? Yes. The music that you hear at church, <laughs> trumpets, symphonies, what kind of music? It's hard to describe what sort of music when I was four when I was four at the time. Oh, he's not four, right? Of course. Yeah, he's not I heard a lot of stuff. I, here's the thing: is if I if I die and go to heaven, he's fucking wrong. I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. Is that him now? Yeah. Okay. So do you know about Pure Flix? No. It's Netflix, but for Christians. So oh hell yeah! It's uh, there's all these. Uh, you know, movie studios that just make Christian movies that are starring like Greg Kinnear and Kirk Cameron and things like that. Okay. Uh, this is pure flicks. I guess they did an interview with our very own Billy Hollowell sat down with real life. Heaven is for real son, Colton Burple to talk about his experience has shaped his life and faith, telling others about Jesus and where he's at now. Oh, because pure flicks acquired heaven is for real. Uh, huh. I don't know who Billy Hollowell is. I bet you anything. He fucks men. I would bet my wife on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if he has sex with guys that are gay. Colton, how's it going today? It's going well. Oh, how's yeah. it going for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's Joey Fatone. <laughs> he looks like Joey Fatone and Lance Bass. Yeah. Colton's looking like Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> Colton looks like he's sending bombs to God. <laughs> He does have a fucking backwoods look to him. Look at that. God. God loves Tannerite. He looks like the lawyers for the guys from Deliverance. Mm-hmm. The guys who raped Ned Beatty. He looks yeah. like the guy that gave up in Deliverance, that just jumps off the boat. <laughs> it's like, and they're like, did he get shot? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he just, he just died. Know, he was a pussy. <laughs> he thinks heaven's real. He wanted to die quick. He could be, this could, might be his, like, uh, his southern. This is a Christian version of, like, an Aaron Carter face. He's having. Yeah. He might be secretly like on a bunt. He might be on lean. He could be. And, and oxys and he, stuff. He kind of looks like Bo Burnham a little bit. Kind of, yeah. This yeah. is what they do to child stars. I mean, he's like, this is this is the Christian Amanda Bynes. You know? <laughs> he's going to get face tattoos. Yeah, the fucking, yeah. Uh, what is this, Pure Flicks? They're, you know, the Dan Schneider of Pure Flicks. <laughs> like, you kept him in a cage and who knows what happened you, to this You poor know what kid. they say about... Uh, you know what they say about you? Know, like when people are sober, they're like, "But if I met this one person, I'd have a beer with them. I'd break my sobriety. I'd break if I went into a bar and Colton and Colton there? asked me to have a beer with him. I I might break it for him mm-hmm. and just be like, I, I'd kind of want to get it out of him to see if it really happened or yeah. not. I'd like if you had that one beer and you get sucked back into the church. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guys, can't do the podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just the AV guy at some Southern Baptist church making like $10,000 a year. Yeah, Colton Burpo baptizes me <laughs> in front of the congregation. I come down crying. Uh, Dad, a podcast that was weirdly kind of like vaguely racist. <laughs> <laughs> and we said like slayer words. And Colton's just like yeah. rubbing my back yeah. in front of the congregation. So tell the congregation your sins. You're like, um, we said slayers that we knew we could get away with. And we, we didn't say the ones we couldn't. 
but we would if we could. I said, f- 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 fag. And the, and the preacher leads in and he goes, that one's actually okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that one's ain't, fine, son. Ain't nothing wrong with that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> That'd be great. The podcast was named about old guy guys having sex. Our family, um, our, all of our family members would be so happy. <laughs> If we went back hard, Christian. They tell us just to do lemon party at the church. <laughs> we, uh, We'd we make more money. Mm-hmm. We had a... We could have Kanye on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One old guy went before our congregation once, and he was just... <laughs> yeah. I can't they, even get this out. They, Jason, can I have this So out? they... I thought we talked about we probably did it. They would... At oh. the end of every sermon, they would always have a... We may have told Devin before, but I, think I don't think we've said I it on think, the show. Yeah, somewhere, but... They would have like a, they do the sermon and they'd be like, now if anybody's struggling with sins or wants to repent in front of the congregation, come down now, you, t- you talk or to you, me. you get baptized. Or you can get baptized if you ain't been baptized yet, but no double baptisms. <laughs> come on down. <laughs> and and the if, double baptisms. The, no double baptisms. That makes you Jew. Um, <laughs> you come on down. And there was like, there was one time like an old guy in his mid fifties like came down. He's like weeping. <laughs> And his fucking <laughs> dress like dress like the dad from Calvin and Hobbes, just big. I don't ha- I don't get my dick sucked glasses anymore, and a button up, and just like his penis tucked into his ass, and he waddles down and he's crying. And they're like, "Okay, brother Larry has some things he wants to say for the congregation." <laughs> And it's like old guys in suits. He just gets up and he's, he's crying. He goes, I, I've been I've been watching internet pornography and I can't stop watching internet pornography and masturbating to pornography. Oh, no. And, I, uh, 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 oh, no. and it's, it's dead silent. It's just dead silent while we're watching this. Like, grown man weep just because yeah. he's fucking... He's just stroking his dick. When like preacher conventions would come to town, people would monitor uh, web activity for certain hotels, supposedly. I don't know. If, I heard this from somebody in, in church. I heard this when we went to a Christian university. They told me about this thing. Someone found out mm-hmm. where when the pastors came to town for this big conf- this big preacher's conference the pornography usage in the hotel spiked like crazy. Yeah. Like the, it went off. It didn't even <laughs> touch the crap. Yeah, the, the Marriott's like, we got to prep for the preachers. <laughs> They're like putting new servers in. They're putting a satellite above right. the, mm-hmm. uh, in aerospace. They're yeah, like yeah. shooting another one up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're like, we need to get this on a private server. <laughs> the Marriott cannot go down because of these sick fucks. It's like power generators. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's worse than having a furry convention, <laughs> having a bunch of southern pastors come over. It's just guys with like spina bifida from jacking off. Yeah, yeah. They have like sc- or they have like scoliosis yeah. from beating off guys, too much. Guys who jerked off so much it, it took the marrow out of their bones because <laughs> yeah. they ran out of cum. Ugh. Oh god. Uh, imagine what those preachers do in those hotel rooms as soon as they get in there. Yeah, a lot of sick. I imagine as soon as they. As soon as the door is shut, they immediately start undressing. Mm-hmm. As it just as soon as it, the, the jacket rips off, oh, yeah. Yeah. the shoes fly against the wall. They're, they're, t- they're take, naked in a matter of four. They seconds. take a suit off and they're dressed like Sam Smith at the Emmys. They just have like chains <laughs> and whips all over, and they're like, "I need a woman to come in and rip one of my balls off so I can come." <laughs> <laughs> hey, just calling the front desk like, hey, could you guys send a locksmith up to my room? My uh, cock cage. <laughs> Can't seem to find the key to my cock yeah. cage. And uh, Calling the front desk. Can you send your your meanest maid up so she can just whip me in the ball? <laughs> whip me in one ball. <laughs> I was watching a guy who like runs his own like chainsaw business. <laughs> You know, like has he's in front of his kids and his wife. I remember him. I remember him walking down the aisle like a duck, Mm -hmm. just sort of like you know, flat footed, and just like he has some sort of like me kind of. The the people you see in church are some of the sickest looking individuals you'll ever see in your life. It's just the worst open mic ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Except uh, instead of buying a drink, you have to just state what autoimmune disease you have, Mm -hmm. right? As you walk in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're like, my feet are eating me. 
you see people at church mm-hmm. where you think they might have an eye in their hand. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> they Pan's hold, Labyrinth characters. <laughs> they hold up. <laughs> I remember him. I remember him as he's approaching the podium. He just started turning like mega red. Mm-hmm. He's he started turning make America great again red yeah, as he's into, approaching. He turned into like the devil. Yeah, it's like a bunch of guys that look like Mitch McConnell, mm-hmm. like going up and just saying like I I keep I lubricate with my cum. Right. <laughs> There's like I can't I can't stop raping kids, y'all. <laughs> I raped all these kids here. Lord knows. And the church would be like, oh, you know, that's the devil. Devil made him do it. One of, yeah. the, one of the professors from our uh, private Christian university this week got arrested for... Uh, did you see this? Yeah, you sent it to me. Okay, yeah. yeah. He, adopted, uh, he adopted three kids, and then he uh, raped all of them. Yeah. He was a Christian uh, professor at our private Christian university. It's what one is- of the most popular Christian universities in the nation. What are they, not the biggest? Are they giving him like a paid leave? <laughs> What's the punishment? Yeah, they're there? giving him a desk job. Yeah, <laughs> they promote him to they make him pope. Mm. Yeah, I think they just they're taking away his gun. <laughs> <laughs> taking away his He's gun. He's losing gun privileges. Now you can write, but not at gunpoint. <laughs> you gotta now, do it by a knife like yeah. the Europeans. Now it's a man's honor to force somebody to have sex it's with you. Not use a, we- not be all weak and use a gun like a pussy. <laughs> You gotta be shiverish. That's how but you gotta be shiverish. That's how pussies right. Did you know this guy, Ben? I didn't. Oh, no. he just he I don't remember just... him. Did you know him? I I raped him. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know him. No. Same uh campus where uh they decided you're not allowed to have uh no open same sex uh, uh relationships. relationships. No op and not in the open. You have to be private about that. They can't find out about it. You can't yeah, you can't be openly gay. Can't be an openly homosexual person. Mm. In a homosexual relationship. And this is where in Abilene or uh, in Abilene, Texas. In Abilene. Mm-hmm. Where we're uh, kind of from. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, everyone if if that's the majority of the town. But I think that's the I think that's the Vietnam thing. Remember the guys in in call where they uh back in the 70s they tried to have like a black wristband and then they went before the supreme court because the school banned the black wristband which protested protest. the vietnam war and okay. then they decided that private institutions can control the political speech like that mm. so then it was fine. oh after that so then they got to pass laws like yeah. you can't be gay on so, campus so i think it. then they're like yeah if you go here you're not allowed to be a gay person yeah it's a private school right it's yeah, pri- well, that's what I'm you saying. Can, yeah, it's you, can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I went, to, but the high school I went to was private, and it was like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> they just hired. There was we literally had teachers that were at in high school like two years earlier. They were teaching us. Mm. It's 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 a self sustaining system of shit. Ugh, it's fucking awful. God, that looks like. Some... I forgot it was bad. I'm not gonna drink it anymore. <laughs> Back to I was excited too. It was like six dollars. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <sighs> Eastern European food and everything is just horrific. It's like made out of like cabbage, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Sweet cabbage. No. Yeah. I, I wonder hoping... Hitler tried to invade all those countries. It's awful. <laughs> I am hoping like a listener like writes in who's Russian is like, that's that's for cars. That's not soda. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben was in a Russian yeah. like auto zone. Ben, you bought coolant. <laughs> Man. I want to. Can we get a little more uh, Colton yeah. as a man? Can we get a little man Colton? Oh, can, well, we get, can we get man? Can burpo? we get some man? Burpo? I think he did like a barstool sports type podcast uh, down here. I saw. He did? Yeah, look, it's like. Uh, oh hell yeah! Uh, Colton and Sarah J. Yeah. <laughs> the author of Division at all times is Satan, yeah. and for me. I do recognize that sometimes when divisions come, it's because Satan's trying to have people like come at blows with each other. However, sometimes there's divisions just because we're all very different human beings. Yeah, like, very true. We so can true. have different viewpoints, different perspectives. It's really cool because he's just kind of even though we right might have yeah, differences he's spitting. of opinions, yeah. Yo, if we can come let back him cook. to the main <laughs> focus of who is God? Yo, young who is burp. Jesus? Who is the young Holy burp on the beat. Uh, uh, little we burp. Bring it little back burp. To the fundamentals. And if we're little solid burp. on those, then at the end of the day, I think it just becomes yep. a little bit more like ironing sharp than iron. He looks like how Haley Joel Osment should have ended up. <laughs> what happened to Haley Joel Osment? I met him a few years ago. He loves golf. 
Okay. And he flies back and forth from New York to LA, and he, uh, I think he does like a Broadway and stuff, but he still acts. Right. Really nice guy. Like really short though. Yeah, and he just like he just he was he, his cute heyday was as a kid. He's just like mm-hmm. yeah. it's almost like like they they tried to remove his pituitary gland or something to like keep him younger. Yeah, it, yeah. Almost, it seems like a botched surgery yeah. or something happened to him because his sister looks pretty normal. Yeah, he just has I don't know like he was just meant to be a, a cute child and now he he just he yeah. lo- it looks now he look he looks like the guy who raped him when he was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he looks like he was his own manager. <laughs> What's interesting is I, I was it's like a time machine story. He's like, I raped myself in the past. <laughs> it's like that um God, I forget the name of that science fiction movie. I know what you're talking about, but I yeah. can't think of it either. The one where the guy goes back in time, gets a sex change, and he's his own mom, dad, and son. Oh, is that somehow. Tootsie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tootsie. <laughs> Uh, Jay's. By the way, I didn't realize this. Is this a? Is I've this from a, our home video footage? That looks like your guys. You guys have like a, a baby in the family that you guys showed me. That looks like this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My sister gave birth to a big mouth Billy Bass. Yeah, your sister <laughs> gave birth to Butterbean. <laughs> Beautiful child, but he is beautiful. Oh, I love him. He's Avery, so he's just huge. Yeah. He's a hundred pounds. He looks like he has a CDL. Yeah, yeah. he already <laughs> plays for the Cowboys. <laughs> He's a grain-fed baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> pure grain. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the with the we. Uh, I was the first child born. This will surprise nobody. I got stuck, and they had to like they tried to do natural birth, and they had to push me back up and and then my do mom. a C, and then do a C. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You big as shit, boy. <laughs> yeah, the doctor goes, born and born, big as shit. <laughs> there was an offensive line coach like while you're being born. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we signed him. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, get out of that pussy, boy. Get up out there. This baby is now the property of Abilene Christian University. It's just it's slavery with yeah. giant white children. We think we can get him out there in the fall with Winchell and uh, Booby Miles and Win State. We're going to get this baby running tires. Oh, yeah, don't you worry. Their, brain, their heads are built for contact. If we, if you don't mind, man, let's put him in a football helmet now so he grows into it perfect. <laughs> Jason, just tell the story about when you, the guy just wanted to shake your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is an old stand-up that I used to do, but it was like, it was literally like guys, I would go visit my family back in Texas because I'm 6'5", and like guys would, you'd be out to eat at like some, you know, it's called like ranch fucks, you know, <laughs> yeah, ranch yeah. fucks, retard steakhouse. <laughs> For big old boys, Sherry Allen, butt fucking buckets. <laughs> yeah, come to the come to big fuckers. <laughs> we'll feed we'll feed you out of a toilet. Come to dead fatties. <laughs> dead fatties. Come on down to neglected kids and get your. Come on down to shovel town. <laughs> Bring yourself your death certificate and eat half off. We'll Has the government declared you legally dead? We'll fill your boot up with, with grease. You can drink it all you want for a nickel, boy. Come on down to Bucket of Slop. So you go to this these places and like these old Texas like guys who just like, hey, I remember. You know, guys like, guys are like, I killed 85 Japanese people in the war. And they like, guys are just coming to you and they go, they literally like walk up to you. You don't even know. And they just go, God damn, boy, you big as shit. And they'd be like, how big are you? And I go, I'm 6'5". And they go, how much do you weigh? And I'm, I'm like 2'7". And they go, come on, let me shake your hand. <laughs> You're like, don't, you don't play for anything. Yeah, I don't play for <laughs> you anything. You just are big. Are, just are big. It's and like, they're like, I want to shake your hand. It's, like a, it's very tribal. Mm-hmm. To them, you're like a demigod or something. Yes. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. some sort of supernatural power, yeah, right? Like, I, like I'm like they should. They think I sh- my photo should be on the wall, like at Benihana or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you sign it. <laughs> yeah. Jay's biggest shit, Avery. <laughs> Jay's biggest shit. They go, who would he play for? Go, Nobody. He cartoonist. <laughs> <laughs> cartoonist. He was a bit of an emotional boy, kind of what we called a fag back in the day. He didn't really like uh, contact sports. That being said, he was big as shit. So he was, he's on the wall. He was big as shit. He would knock boys out and just cry afterwards because he felt bad. <laughs> And then we call him a big gay retard, and he crashed some more. I remember you getting chewed out uh, in football because the guy, the ref, threw a threw a flag, and uh-huh. then you went and like picked up the flag and like ran back over and like handed it to him. Oh, yeah, just like, basic politeness. Yeah. Like, God damn that fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be gay? <laughs> no, no I remember, gay. I remember we had. We might be talking about this too long, but I 
there was a play, there's a counter play in football where I was the right guard, so you're one off the center. Mm-hmm. And the play is your right guard, everybody on the left side of the line pushes really quick, and they let the end go, the defensive end. I, as a right guard, turn, go down the line. The defensive end doesn't see me. He thinks he has a free pass to the quarterback. And I come and just hit him in the ear hole. And I would just, I would fuck guys up. Mm -hmm. And I felt so bad because you're hitting a guy who doesn't know. Right, yeah. He's about to get hit, but they call counter nine. I'd see like 45-year-old men be like, Stick it through! (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 14 and I'm like, this is CTE brain damage. Yeah. (laughs) It's those guys are so interesting, too, because it's it's a it's Jocko Willink's brain and a 500 pound man. Yeah, it's Jocko. can't see his penis. It's Jocko Willink's brain and a man who does no hard work whatsoever. (laughs) It's a guy who thinks he's a slave owner for children Mm. that just live around his community. It's a really sick shit. It is actually. And it's, why is all those towns have? I know. What? When did that start? Like, how did football become the only thing anyone gives a shit about in Texas? Because there's nothing to do. High school football, children. There's no economy or anything, so it's just everybody makes forty grand a year. I'm not kidding. I what, love. What's there to do? I love it so much. I want to fly to Texas sometimes and go to local football games. Mm-hmm. It because the environment looks amazing. We could do that. Like I'm obsessed with high school football. Uh, not high school football, but like I love. Those the, towns the idea where they it. care yeah. and the idea of that big Friday you night. Ju- you just love Friday Night Lights. I love Friday Night Lights. I saw some and- crazy stuff at football games. I saw a Texas Ranger uh, arrest a pedophile who was going in the bathroom trying to take pictures of little girls. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah. And the, the Texas Ranger guy I knew was badass. He's fucking awesome. He he got promoted to the level of Texas Ranger. Where you can just shoot people and not do paperwork. Yeah, you just you're you're completely and he, lawless. He wore a cowboy hat and he had like a big like fucking gun on his hip. He looked like uh, who's that country singer uh, that's really popular? Uh, Kenny Chesney. Uh, one of them. George Strait. George Strait. He looked, he looked like, like that George guy. Strait a little okay. bit. Yeah. He was bad. At, he was awesome. He was my baseball coach. He was really cool. And he caught he, a pedophile. Like he, he caught a pedophile. Arrested him and walked him to the wow. Yeah, he just like yeah, I got he like he had one. He just like walked him out like when you when someone gets a cat like <laughs> like out of their garage. He just like had a pedophile. Right. They got one here. Got one. Just threw in the back of his truck. We're gonna throw him off. We're gonna throw him into pedophile tank for the night. <laughs> he's got he's got the crazies. Let him get the fever out. <laughs> Like Andy Griffith when that guy would come in really drunk on the cow. Yeah. The town drunk. Mm-hmm. But it's just a guy who's a pedophile. If the guy's a, it's a pedophile. And he's like, hey, lock me up, Andy. I'm going <laughs> to rape again. <laughs> I didn't know a guy like that existed. That, did you ever see Andy Griffith? My dad watched a lot yeah, growing yeah, up. Yeah. There's a big fat guy that rides a cow through the town and they go, all right. And they go sleep here he, in the jail. He, he just would, opens the jail so and gets right, it and goes right. to bed. Yeah. But he, that's the only guy I've ever met. Or I've ever seen, excuse me, it's the only guy I've ever seen that talks like Joey. Oh, and is in the Andy Griffith is show? Is in the Andy Griffith show. Yeah, no, Joey ha- is Joey is like a 1940s milkman mm-hmm. that somehow just exists now. <laughs> I he's know, so, he's like a time Joey traveler. Joey is he's, like a prize fighter from the 50s. Yeah. He somehow walked out of Perry Mason <laughs> into just our... So it's funny, because he does talk like that, but he'll just be like, yeah, did you hear the new... I don't know, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Did like, you hear the new, the new Danzig, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, so you hear like a like a, a gum shoe. Mm-hmm. Be like, Danzig's crazy this year. But then he'll say modern terms, so it's even funnier. He'll be like, word, buddy. <laughs> bruh. Word, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's lit. <laughs> it would be weird if you watched old black and white footage of like a World War One veteran in war. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, snap, buddy. <laughs> Just like running from the enemy. I, yeah. I saw a video. I, I don't think I would be able to find this, um, but it was it was a somebody posted on Twitter. It was like a hundred year old man complaining about today's generation. Yeah. And they go, they go, what's wrong with today's society? And he does. He's like, yes, he got, hey, just they don't. And he never names anything. He doesn't say anything. He can't think of anything. He just goes, the way they're just walking around. It's just. To thank our boys died for that. <laughs> that our boys died for that. That's yeah, on Twitter, Ben. I think you can oh, find it. it. Yeah, I, let me see. Okay. I think it's in my like tweets. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Okay. It's so funny. It's just like, Is God. Is it from today? What an old fucking loser. I think it's from yesterday. 
Oh, then I'll just go to your Twitter then. Go to Let top. Let me try. Just go to top. Oh, go to top. I'll see if I can find it. There it is. Or no, no, that's... <laughs> Uh, oh, they're trying to talk about how a hundred year old man, man died, died of, of, the of the vaccine. World War II fat died of the vaccine. That's a, that's good. Or didn't die. I don't know. Whatever YouTube thinks is that's what I think. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing this guy. I'll, let me just go to Jace's thing. I want you to see how many fucking people I hate that I like tweets from, so I could send to people later. By the way, Jace, uh, uh, what's his face went on a. I don't Col- think Colm Burple went on the 700 Club, which kicks ass. Did you not like it? What if I go through Jace's likes and it's just uh, porn stars? I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm worried about. It's just OnlyFans <laughs> girls. Uh, I don't see. Oh, here it is. Google 100 year old veteran. Uh, I mean, look it up on Twitter. 100 year old veteran. Yeah. Okay. God, I, w- I can't wait for you By guys the way, to see this guy. Jace Colton Burpo went on the 700 Club, which I Did bet he? is a bang. We'll pull it up. Yeah, oh, we'll look at this guy. Yeah, oh, this my guy. God. This guy invented racism. Look at the things we do. <laughs> People don't realize <laughs> what they did. have. They bitch about it. I am so upset that the things we did and the things we fought for and the boys that died for it, it's all going down the drain. Our country's going to hell. It's just not the same. That's not what I want. That's not what they died for. I just and people don't realize what they have. But he they never bitch says about a thing. It. He never says a thing. But what is wrong? He never says. It. He goes. They're just. They're mixed. That's kind of what he's he almost like. He's like, it's not. We had it in the palm of our hand, <laughs> and we gave it away. They're falling asleep in the drive-throughs at Wendy's, and they're saying, "Hands up, don't shoot." Just cry like a fucking yeah, yeah. old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking yeah. old loser. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine being that close to death? You're just like they won't pull their damn pants up. <laughs> just being like a men going their own way, guy. Dude, he's he's mad at black people from 2002. Yeah. He doesn't even know about <laughs> modern black people because that's when he stops storing new thoughts and memories yeah. in his head. No, yeah, literally, yeah. he's like pull your damn pants. It's like they they're wearing skinny jeans mm-hmm. now. Like you don't even you're two decades behind. He's mad about Allen Iverson. Yeah, he's like, I see Allen Iverson. <laughs> That's not what I'm more down for. They made Eminem eat booty at the MTV <laughs> Music Awards, and that ain't right. You're telling me Tom Green can hump a dead moose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's t- he looks like an old SS officer, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, he looks like they just found him, and he used to be called, like, the Merchant of Death or some shit. He looks like a Nazi scientist. He looks like a Nazi. Like he yeah. looks, this was like Joseph Mengele. <laughs> he looks like Hitler. This is if Hitler mm-hmm. lived. He looked like this guy. <laughs> That's the boys he's talking about died for is the German soldiers yeah. in World War II. We use the things we did. We used to take body parts and put them in different places. We used to play Mr. Potato Head with a Jewish lady. <laughs> and now... Now you see them that walk. It, it is an interracial couple listening to their jazz music. Much worse. <laughs> Harlem Renaissance, my ass. Intertwining R and B with hip hop. <laughs> He's mad at Ray Charles for mixing gospel and it soul. Can't even, it's not even traditional hip hop now. They're all singing like fairies. <laughs> Why did we let Drake become popular? <laughs> It's all, sh- I mean, Kanye was doing some interesting stuff on 808, but that shouldn't be the whole game. He did, he, he, he's, Drake, Drake, he didn't start from the bottom. <laughs> he's a fucking nepo, baby. I guess if you're insanely right, ra- if you're racist to the point where you're like a German idealist or something like that. Sure. Like this, this, this young man. Is he wearing a military uniform, by the way? Yeah, I think he's wearing the... I've seen uh, guys on Joe Rogan wear stuff like this. So I think it's Marines. Yeah, that's what a guy that sells coffee on Joe Rogan also wears. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is if you're a barista yeah. at, at Guantanamo Bay. This is the uniform mm-hmm. you wear. 
barista at Guantanamo if you, Bay. If you're making the uh, the uh, Americanos yeah, yeah, yeah. for uh, United States uh, Marines at Guantanamo Bay, yeah. whoever is there. Yeah, you, you're selling the skull fuck brew mm. at, at Guantanamo. You're, dr- you're drinking black rifle coffee yeah. while you're sicking a Doberman yeah. on yeah. an Afghani and child. Then, and then you wash down some liquid death. <laughs> You go, I need, I need water that ain't gay. <laughs> this Dasani sounds gay to me. This guy probably also was like, you know, he was at D-Day just hiding on a boat somewhere like a coward. Mm. Right. It's like, yeah, the, the boys that I watched that I was supposed to be leading <laughs> all day when I ran away from my platoon. <laughs> I, that's not the boys. I, I, we got ambushed and I shot them in the leg so I could get away. That's not what they died for. They were all dying while I was banging a French milk woman in a barn. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if he was just like mad about the state of comedy. Yeah. He's yeah. like, they all died so the fighter and the kid could... Go on for eight or nine years. I mean, what the hell is the gringo poppy? I mean, what the hell? It wasn't even a special. It was 28 minutes long. You uh, tell me when the bubble's gonna fucking burst. (laughs) Stop selling podcast equipment to people. It's a vacuum. The Lemon Party boys are taking advantage of it. Yeah, he's coming. Lemon party, the cringe. I don't like South Park voices. No man, South Park. He's the guy commenting on our YouTube. Knock it off with the key and peel stuff. <laughs> that guy's awesome. That guy I love that guy. Rules. Love Uganda hater. He yeah. hates us so much. His, his name's from Uganda. His name is Uganda hater. It's something like something that. Something like that. Oh, yeah. we made fun of Uganda on the. Yeah, but he didn't. He's been upset at us for for since we started. I think yeah. he watches only a few seconds, and then he goes. He makes that typical Key and Peele comment. Yeah, yeah. every episode. Because I said yeah, it's yeah. the only thing he has. It's is the key only, right, he right. only thinks Key and Peele is the only thing that ever exists. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a Key and Peele VHS washed on shore. <laughs> in whatever yep. little thing he lives in, and it is good. Yeah, it is good. But stop comparing our podcast to Key and Peele. Well, I don't think he likes it. I think he thinks Key and Peele's like woke or something. I, I don't know what. I don't know. He doesn't oh, speak. Right I re- I, res- I respect the consistency of the hate. <laughs> he hates us though, and it's great. Helps the algorithm. Yeah. Uganda mm-hmm. hater. Keep it's, it up, Uganda it, hater. It's, it's kind of like just showing up, like, uh, you know, it's like one of those where you get annoyed at him, and then one day you don't see the comment anymore, and you're like, oh, where'd he go? Uganda hater. Where'd Uganda hater go? You, you imagine him washing up on a beach somewhere, like it's Inception, mm-hmm. and he just like he reaches over and grabs his phone and goes. Not as good as the new Key and Peele, and then post, and then just passes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on a he's on a steam liner that's going under the ocean, mm-hmm. that's sinking. <laughs> he's like, one last time, let me post a comment. Oh man, I love that guy though. Yeah, yeah lo- I love you, Gandhi hater. Uh, uh, Patreon dot com slash lemon party. I'm glad we talked about this old racist fuck. <laughs> he just this has guy, to can be you racist. Pl- His can wife's you- probably black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you play the the end just one last time, just so I can get the, him crying, like the last fifteen seconds? Yeah. Wait. Why does it say readers added context? They thought people might want to know. For context, the veteran in the video is specifically distressed over the fact that people today won't have the opportunities he has when he was young. Oh, they have to tell us that it's not because he hates the new generation. He's upset we don't have the opportunities. That is not true. He's yeah. obviously just okay. pissed for no reason. Are you yeah. kidding me? You, that there's no way that's what he thinks. No, there's no way to hell. Not at and I'm not going to watch the full video to be proven completely wrong right now. <laughs> no, I mean th- this guy hates Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> he saw uh, what was it? What was it? <laughs> this is really if you if you went inside my brain, it would look like that. <laughs> it looks like a drawing of yeah. yours. <laughs> Just an old guy saying they died. <laughs> so, wait, wait, you want to see him cry? Yeah, just like John. <laughs> he makes the. Uh, you know the uh, Jace. You know the in Liar Liar when the lady with really big tits gets on the elevator and he starts making the mommy. Yeah. He starts making those lips. What? Look. That's not what they died for. <laughs> he starts making the I want to suck on the titties lips because mm. he's so sad. <laughs> well, he's trying to keep his teeth from falling yeah. out. Yeah. Anyway, fuck that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck you. He flip off a 100 year old veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking war criminal. 
<laughs> the last World War II veteran. Eat my shorts, dickhead. Suck my ass, you old fag. God, we're just going straight, straight, straight to hell. This is the meanest show. Straight to hell. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was wrong to the <laughs> The he horrible probably, things he's seen. He was probably one of the guys that like started feeding like all the Jews like in the in the concentration camps like immediately mm-hmm. and they all exploded like fucking when you, you give like a pigeon Alka Seltzer. Oh yeah, yeah, like at weddings when <laughs> pigeons eat rice and then they their heads blow off. <laughs> he probably was like, the fucking mm. just this dunce just stepping into ranks in World War II. Giving They're the liberating yeah. like Dachau, and then he just starts feeding them, and all these Jews just exploding. He's giving them Mentos and Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good to liberate Dachau here. Just make sure you take your Mentos and your Pepsi at the same time. <laughs> I know, so mean for no reason. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun to be mean to somebody you have no reason to be no mean reason. to. Well, that's your shadow is everybody is like pure, like nah, evil, don't, supposedly. Don't put some science on well, it. I just want to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, poor guy. Yeah. Well, anyway. So should we go to the Patreon? Also, old guys are just emotional. That's why he doesn't have any specifics. He doesn't know. Like, my grandfather, when he was, like, getting this old, it's like, they just start crying, and they look at, like, a rose in their backyard. Mm. Uh, it's like, tomatoes, I'm coming in, right. and they just and your mother, Jane loves her mother so much. You just don't even know what right. they're yeah, yeah. going yeah, through. They're, like, pregnant the, women. The darkness is coming yeah. for me. <laughs> just, just every day the atmosphere caves in. They're pregnant with death. Yeah. yeah, they're like a pregnant. They're they're pushing out the Grim Reaper, and he's gonna come out of him yeah. one night and kill him. Mm-hmm. That and is take him to hell. The amazing thing when you talk to like really old people, and they're like, you're you're just like, Gam Gam, how are you doing? They're like, I'm going to die today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy, man. Yeah. Well, I hope. Uh, well, he's dead now. Oh, this guy died. I mean, if this was shot in the past, he's dead now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was shot earlier today. If this was shot two days ago, he's dead. So I, I think have, we're fine. What sucks is I I gotta I don't have any cat I don't have any caffeine or anything to drink, so I have a headache. I've like I've had a splitting headache this whole episode. Well, let's take a break. Wait, give we'll me one of those you... beers. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll give you an aspirin and some some coffee. That shit's amazing. Sug free red. Sug free Red Bull. Hmm. It's amazing. It's it's incredible stuff. Does good work. That is good. Are your dogs being killed by a pack of coyotes right now? We just heard them well. Potentially. We will get into that on the... Uh, okay, on the page. On the Patreon. Patreon.com slash lemon party. Uh, unless this is the Patreon. Who knows? Who knows? Because we never know. Yeah. Sad Drawings by Jace. Devin Costa, Hate Watch Pod. Patreon.com slash lemon party. Subscribe to the lips, uh, the Clips channel. Lemon Party Clips. I've been going live on there. Uh, uh, lock the gates. <laughs> <laughs> 